it going guys? So I got some more news on Forza Motorsport 6 and that is they're adding mods to the game. That is very, very new. This has never been done before and it's another layer of depth in the Forza Motorsport franchise. So let's get right into it. I will try to explain the best I possibly can. Not everything I'm saying may be accurate considering the game isn't out yet. When the game is officially out, who knows what type of changes might happen from this point on to September 15th or September 10th if you get the Ultimate Edition such as me. But anyways, let's get right into it. So like I said, mods are a new feature in Forza Motorsport 6 and obviously they've been designed to add a new layer of depth. And there's three different mods. There's Dare, which is right here. There's Crew. And then there's Boost. So there's Crew mods, Boost mods, and Dare mods. Now, Dare mods challenge the, challenges the player to get out of their com comfort zone and perform specific driving tasks, such as, let's say, driving with manual with clutch. Not everyone knows how to drive with manual with clutch. It's a very difficult thing to adapt to but that's actually a dare mod and if you actually do that throughout a race and you hit the objective, you will get 20% the credits. So whatever the amount of credits you're going to get, you're going to get 20% more, which is a lot. That's a pretty good amount just by driving manual with clutch. And I can drive manual with clutch easy. A lot of us can. So that's easy money for us to earn. Severe power decrease is another one that, these are just examples by the way, there's going to be more than just these three, but severe power decrease is another one, so your car's power is decreased by 8%, and that's a lot actually, um, That that's actually a very, very hard mod, I'm kind of scared for that one, to be honest, but if you do hit the objective, or win the race, whatever it asks you to do, you also earn 20% of the credits, and that's a lot, like, like, that's a fair amount. If you get, let's say, 10,000 credits in the race, add 20% on top of that, do the math, and that's that's a good amount of money right there. Also, uh, back of the pack is another one. When you start in last place, basically, you just have to work your way up to first. You know what I mean? That's These are all things that we all can do if we actually try, and these are cool mods to give us extra money. You know what I mean? Next, we'll talk about the crew mods. So the crew mods gives the player a performance advantage. So these mods actually help you. The dare mods kind of make you, they give you a challenge. The crew mods actually make your car better. Uh, some examples, chassis expert, 7% weight, 3% grip. So minus 7% weight, obviously, and plus 3% grip on your car. That can really help depending on what kind of car you have. And you kind of have to be choosy and have to really know your car, which is very cool. You know, it's not just like, oh, here's some mods, throw it on your car. You got to know what mods, like what crew mods to use on what car to get the best performance. You know what I mean? So, I mean, chassis expert, 7 minus 7% 7 weight, plus 3% grip. Like, you wouldn't want to put that on a very, very light car, right? Because your car is already light as it is. Why do you want it even more lighter? Obviously, like, I'm going to try that out, though. That's actually really cool. I mean, you can even make your car even lighter and more grippier. But let's say you have, like, a 3,500-pound car that's got, like, a crazy amount of horsepower, uncontrollable, minus 7% the weight, add 3% grip, and that car is a boss. You know what I mean? Next, we also have braking engineer as another example. That's plus 20% braking. That helps a lot. Like 20% braking, that's insane. That is that is insane how much that helps. Plus 5% power. Like that, that is crazy. But obviously you have to be choosy and you have to know which car to use these certain mods on, like I said. But these are pretty cool mods. Next, we have some boost mods. Now the boost mods, boost mods, I mean, gives players a specific advantage during a race or bonus for performing well in a race. So some examples are some pristine drafting. Everyone drafts in a race, and if you're drafting very, very good, you could earn up to 18,000 credits if you get perfect drafts, which is easy to do. And that's just easy money to get in the game, to buy more parts, to buy more cars. You know, it just makes it a little bit easier for us, and I really like this idea. Next, we have another example of Ghost. So your car has no collisions for the first lap of this race. That's a really good one. So you don't have to worry about actually colliding into people. It's kind of a, 
It's it, it is kind of cheap though, to be honest. If you if you have no collisions, like I, I don't know how it's gonna work. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I really like this is the first time we've seen this. The game's not even out yet. But if it, if it's what I think it is, and literally you can just drive through the cars without colliding in them, that is a huge advantage in a race. Like you don't have to worry about trying to get by them. You can literally just go through them. Like. That is a crazy advantage. And next, we have superior payout. You can earn plus 60% credits for a race. That is crazy. Like, 20% is huge. 60%, like, this is, this is awesome, guys. This is really awesome. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these mods. This is, this is brand new in the game. And they haven't even talked about this. Everyone, like, we were kind of complaining... Because E3, basically, like, we didn't really learn anything from Forza at E3. Because they basically just said everything. And they're still revealing new things. Like, oh my god. This is this is very, very good, man. I'm, I'm excited for this feature. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Make sure you leave a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks. See ya.